Welcome back everyone. Welcome back to Let's Play Objects in Space Blind. Well, this game does not want to run smoothly apparently. It's being very, very choppy for some reason, but anyway. Uh, yeah, we're at uh, Bola Station, I believe, and we're talking to this Mona Al Ajri, which is Arabic. Um, but I don't know what she wants from us, so let's see. Is it you? Uh, sure, I mean, yes. Yes, it's me, I'm here, and you are... you? Sorry, you've got the wrong person. I am available for work, though, if I don't understand what he's doing. Yeah, let's do that. No, I, I do not. I, I do not know. Is that your ship? If so, then maybe. Uh, depends what this is about. Let me know and let's talk. It looks like I have been let down. Stood up, in fact. I am a fool for expecting otherwise. Now I am afraid there is no time to make more satisfactory arrangements. Who are you? Tell me. An undesirable. You got a job for a big bad? <laughs> Just a traitor. She might be like secret police or something. <clears throat> Just a traitor. Got a boat? Take honest work where I can get it. You first. Need to know who I'm dealing with so I know how to best to scare them. <laughs> Just a traitor. Just an honest trader with a boat? Uh, what do you take me for? <laughs> do you know where you are? This is Maru. You cannot sort uh, the pirates from the politicians in this regrettable place. Well, I'm neither. Then you must be desperate. Is that why you're here? Are you desperate? Yes, I, I suppose I am. Then we have something in common. Touché. Uh, yes, I suppose we do. Okay, okay. W what choice do I have? So, okay. Okay. You work only for yourself? That's right. And your name? Is unimportant. I am no one. I have nothing to protect or prove. If you have any reason to trust me, that's it. Huh. An interesting angle. Bullshit, of course, you know that, but crudely compelling. Okay, we can deal. Good. I am Mona al Ajwi. I was meant to be rendezvousing with someone here. I work for Rahel Nas Nizer at Pupil Mind. I do not suppose you have ever visited one? I'm actually not sure what that is. I see. Well, Pupil Mind is a series of museums. We ran out of Leizo and Magella, but our collections are housed here in Bola Prime and in Diwali, Galileo, Caruther Circle, Parsus, and any system in which the Magellan Empire, our sole source of funds, has an active interest. A rather shallow and cynical display of beneficence, no doubt, but useful nonetheless. Useful? Well, we commissioned more uh, new work than the great pretenders in Sagan's Lights, for one. Primarily visual art, but also film and performance art. Bronislava Ulyanova premiered Prolet Cool No. 32 at our museum right here. She sealed herself into a perspex chamber, piping in just enough gas, supposedly from the lonely prison mines, to make herself repeatedly and violently ill. It was extraordinary. I see. Extraordinarily self-indulgent, derivative, repugnant. Here is an art that holds a mirror up to the face of its creator, and yet she has the gall to call it revolutionary. Perhaps her heart is in the right place, but her work is no good. In truth, none of the work was commissioned in, uh, is any good. It is just stuff, just lifeless objects and empty gestures. We will never know true art like they have on Earth. True art is a sacred act of human creation, one which independently in the beginnings of all Earth's cultures. What? One which independently in the beginnings... Okay. It left its trace in the rock paintings at uh, Garbon Monk, in the bas basalt statue of Tutmos uh, III, the third, and in Edward Munch's twisted screaming face. You paint a vivid line in time, but what are you getting at here? What little earth art made it to Apollo has been pillaged and degraded, kept from those of us that would seek to convince its historical line of development. That is the real value of pupil mind, to preserve and perhaps eventually foster a future for true art. Is this my cue? Apparently it is. Several months ago I received an encrypted message from a person claiming to have a collection of Kandinsky's, including several circles and composition X, that may not mean anything to you, I know, but it is very, very significant. It is also a very, very unlikely claim that these should be an Apollo and not Earth beggar's belief. 
I know of no records suggesting any Kardinskis made the voyage to Apollo at all, but still, we cannot pass up this possibility. I'm sorry to rush you, but... You believe it? I want to. It is possible. Although the Magellan Empire has been doing its best lately to seem interested in more than the canapes at gallery openings, it was only a few years ago that Afu Abba was conducting her cultural purge of anything Earth-related. Everything of value was rushed out of Magella and its colonies, sold straight to the headspring of her Ire Lagrange, which is where my contact uh, claims to be situated. That's the prose column. Right. Now the cons. Kordinsky is an important artist, but his work did not attract the sentimental attachment of Monet or Van Gogh, for example. Brown with supplement looks a little prosaic next to reflections of clouds on the water lily pond. We know, almost beyond doubt, that only two of Monet's water lilies made it into the Cassandra's gallery. Space was tight, and in spite of goodwill, only a limited amount could be taken on, uh, on our arc to this satellite called the Sac as I am sure you can imagine. So, an official collection of Kardinskis? Unlikely. But any collection of Kardinskis would have to be an official one, since almost all of his work was owned by state galleries. Unless they weren't taken here officially. Unless they were stolen. Correct. If my contact is not lying, we are talking about a large collection of stolen artwork, smuggled off Earth more than half a century ago. The spoils of nothing less than a grand art heist. You almost sound excited. How much would one of these brown suppositories fetch, do you think? It must be quite a gig, so where do I come in? Okay, my contact is claiming to have these paintings holed up on Lagrange port. They're offering a trade. The collection of Kardinskis for a complete video archive of Bron Ulyanov's performance work. They wish to remain anonymous, uh, <laughs> anonymous and refuse to deal with me directly. What's my end? I can pay you 880 credits to be my go-between. It is academic as far as I am concerned. This Kardinsky collection is worth a fraction of what they would be valued out on, uh, uh, on Earth. God, blah, blah. It is an insult to everyone involved that the Olyanova collection is priced the same. You're telling me this is so that I don't go to the effort of uh, hawking them off somewhere else, right? Why wouldn't they be valued more? Surely with our connection from Earth severed. Why wouldn't you just send me along with a copy of the Olena archive? And why wouldn't they be valued more? They would be more scarce and hence more valuable, I know. But in artistic circles in particular, the schism between Earth and Apollo is most intense. The legacy of art history has, was severed by our journey here, and already there has been a significant push to teach Apollonian art over Earth art in most of the central system's crashes. But it's a damn shame if you ask me. Me too, so let's get into the specifics. What are your terms? Okay, so I will load up your ship with the goods and have half your fee for you. Half the fee? I'm adding 10% if you only pay half in advance. Are you kidding? I will ask you one last time if you are genuinely interested in helping me. You're asking like it's a personal favor, but isn't. You have a business proposition. I am giving you a business answer. Again with the compelling bullshit. Look, I understand what you are saying to me. I can get it. I just need to speak to the other donors and unlock some extra funds. I should be able to do that while you are gone. So, fine. I will pay you the other half plus the other 10% of the total fee upon return. Hmm. Then we're in business. Tell me what I'll be looking for when I get to Lagrange Port. A man with a mustache will be at the airlock there. He will be expecting you. <laughs> That's it? A man with a mustache? Those are the instructions. This man wants what I have. He will not make it hard. Hope you're right. I will give you the archives on a disc here and now. And we are taking uh, none of you, uh, note of your ship's registration and logging the transfer of these videos with the station's digital log. Should you fail to complete your task, expect the authorities to be informed swiftly. That said, thank you for assisting me. No problem. Thanks for the vote of confidence. Don't mention it. Let me know how you go. Okay. Is, is the game going to stop being choppy? There we go. That was, that's so weird. Okay, let's pay the fees 40. Request permission. So, we have... Contract and job... Ezra Garber on Lagrange port and Sagan's lights. Okay. 
So Sagan's Light is right there. We just are out of reach to jump there. Let's see if there's anything going to Sagan's Lights. No, there's nothing. <laughs> nothing at all. Alright, let's get out of here then. <clears throat> so, yeah, we cannot jump there. So, take a first. Oops. Uh, let's go here. There. Okay, so that should be interesting. Can we go through the icon of the planet? I'm assuming yes, because this is... Well, we'll see. I guess we just go around the planet, really. Because this is all just a 2D map. Torpedo detected on bearing 167. Where is that going? Oh, it's turned around, so it must be trying to hit a ship there. Uh, we've got some new messages and news. Whoops. Let's see what we get. Mail. Magellan Empire. New contracts have impressed us, and as a result, we have the pleasure of informing you that additional contract opportunities are being made. Contract complete, and contract complete. Excellent. Okay. And there's no news. Oh, yeah. Attacker of... The would-be attackers of Magellan Governor of Duras Derek Proud are still at large. Laborous torture. <clears throat> I'm looking forward to that new um, pirate story. That should be nice. What's that? You think you can help a terrorist and just come back? Open fire, people. Oh, bloody hell, are they still after me? That's not good. Okay, merchant, 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 military, those guys are probably after me. Oh, that's not good. I'm going a bit close to the sun then. Come on. <laughs> I just need to get out of here. Another military, Reyna. Well, at least our uh, drive has been spun up already. Hull temperature is, at the moment, zero. I don't know if that was lost in the recording w with that stupid mission or not, but... Uh, yeah, actually, let's get a little further. Uh, but yeah, the hull temperature does increase quite dramatically where you, when you're close to a uh, star like this, and I'm getting awfully close. If it starts going up, we might be in trouble. Yes, it is going up. Great. Change our course because it is increasing quite 120. Okay, we're, we're fine. We're fine. Okay, come on. Okay, those are all military ships, and I'm assuming they're after me. Come on. Almost there. Desired sea. There we go. Alright, full stop. Yeah. Okay, they won't catch me. I cannot believe they're still after me in Maru. That's, uh, that's not very nice of them at all. So, yeah. F you, Maru. F you. I'm getting out of here. Well, that was fairly uneventful in a way. Drop your cargo or be destroyed. Emergency pirates attack in progress. Upload called complete navglyphs. All right, so now we need to go to Sagan's Light, and then of course to go down there. Oh no, down here. Not that close, actually. Ugh. I don't like going that close to stars. I still don't know uh, what kind of damage you can expect from that, but, you know, no oh well. Scans are clear, blah blah blah, let's power up as well. I believe that produces quite a lot of emissions. I'm actually wondering, does the jump drive 
take damage over time if it's charged. I do wonder. It looks pretty cool. Look at that thing. That's very cool. Magnetoplasma mo uh, node. Does it have any free stuff? No, it doesn't. This one actually has... Short buffer slot. It's very efficient at the moment. 172%. Right, so, well, I guess there's only one thing to do, speed up the time. And unfortunately, like I said, there's... We don't have any extra contracts to go there. So, Lagrange port. Ugh. Where? Wow, that's... can detect it far away. Very far away. I, you know, despite everything, like I said before, I really do like this game. I just wish it was uh, updated more often. I mean, it's been almost a month since that. I, I was wrong before. It wasn't like a week ago or so. It was, it was more. I got sick in between and had lots of work and stuff. But yeah, it was almost a month since I've played this last, and it still didn't get updated at all. So I would, I would really like to see some more. Great. I would really like to see some more uh, bug squashing and such. Why is that guy? Oh, he might be there. 131. Where's a torpedo? Oh, there. That's not going towards me, fortunately. Okay. Desired quadrant C. We're almost there. No, 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 don't stop yet. That's not the star, that's the star that denotes the quadrant, so... A little bit more. Torpedo detected. Man, there's a lot of torpedoes. Well, the uh, pirate is getting shot at, so that's good. There we go. Calculate solution. That's a lot of torpedoes. I could actually go there and see if there's anything left of it. Afterwards, but... Yeah. I doubt it. I mean, that, that authority vessel is right there, so... I don't think they would like that. Okie dokie. <clears throat> now we have to go to Lagrange port, and I'm sure there's something weird is going to happen there. 880 is uh, nothing to scoff at, though. Where is Lagrange? There it is. Go! Look at that nebula, that's quite cool. Speed up the time, of course. There we go. Lena. TWP Agricultural Outpost. Twip. Alley Industrial Outpost. Alright. <clears throat> well, in the meantime, let me know down in the comments below if you're still liking the gameplay here. And if you'd like something changed, etc, etc, etc. Anyway, yes, yeah, so we will be buying probably more solar panels, possibly a torpedo launcher in the future, uh, possibly a new ship, of course, but we do have to make quite a bit of money for that to happen. So uh, we need some lucrative missions. I guess we should really start running lucrative, uh, lucrative trade routes from the outskirts sectors to the um to the local clusters i mean the you know the central ones because that's apparently where the money is made but yeah anyway thank you so much for watching there's a guy floating there i guess um i hope you're enjoying this like i said and i will see you next time Bye bye <laughs>